Hey, this is Chad from Good Creative Tutorial, and today I want to go over the Mixer Brush Tool in Adobe Photoshop. It's a little bit different than the brush tool. It acts more like a real brush where you can mix colors together a lot easier, and you can add more paint, control how much paint is on the brush, and how much it mixes with other colors. So go ahead and open up an image, or you can just go to File, New, and you can choose some kind of preset, say from Web, uh, 1024 by 768 or 128 by 800, whichever. Choose one of those presets and hit OK. So just so you have some area to work with. I just have an image here that resembles kind of an artist palette, and I'm on a new layer. So what I would do is create new layer at the bottom of the layers panel, so you have a new layer to add some color to, and go ahead and select the mixture brush tool. If you click and hold on the brush tool, and go down to the mixture brush tool, we'll add some color. So up at the top, you can see some of our default brushes, just like as if we had the brush tool selected. I'm going to choose this brush here, the round point stiff, and over on the size, I got about 100 point. But again, you can press left and right bracket to resize it, or you can resize it over here. Uh, for color, I'm just going to select from the swatches. If you go to window, then swatches, they'll pull that out. I just have a blue selected. And you'll notice there's some options here. You've, if you hover over, it'll tell you this will load the brush after each stroke, which means after you click and drag to paint, it will. it's almost like you're dipping the brush back into the paint to load it again with more paint. And this is just cleaning the brush after each stroke, meaning it's just going to clean, and uh, any paint that you've picked up from other colors on the canvas uh, we're going to actually clean off the brush after we let go of the mouse. Uh, over on dry, wet, moist, very wet, these are presets. So if you go to wet, you'll see here it sets wet to 50%. Load, which means how much paint is loaded onto the brush, is set to 50%. And mix, meaning how much it will mix with other colors, is set to 50%. Flow is just like the flow setting in the brush tool. It's just how much paint is coming out at what rate. Uh, and then there's airbrush buildup effects. You can toggle that. And then sampling on layers means whenever you're painting, is it going to sample to mix with colors from other layers, or is it going to sample only the layer that we're on? So I have that unchecked because I want it to just interact with the colors on the layer that we're on. And then if you have a tablet with a pen, you can toggle that on or off if you're going to use pressure uh, for the size rather than the, the settings in the brush panel. So you can also, of course, click the brush panel here. If you go to Window, then Brush, and it will bring out a bunch of different options you have. But I'm going to just not really uh, mess with that right now. I just have default settings. If you have some huge editor and things like that, I would go ahead and turn that off in the brush panel. It should just be kind of the default. And let's just click and drag and just add some paint out here. All right. So that acts pretty much like the brush tool to an extent. It is wet though. It's acting a little bit differently. Uh, once we go to say red and click and drag that over here. So we got two different hues. Now with the red still selected, if I click and drag over here, it's going to mix with that. See how it's mixing with it? It's interacting with the original blue and making more of a purple color. So I have these two unselected. So it's not loading the brush after each stroke and it is not cleaning the brush after each stroke. So if I click and drag over here, it's still purple. It's almost like we have a real life brush that's been mixed up in these two hues and now it's holding on to that purple. So if I press clean brush, all right, it's going to clean it after each stroke or you can just toggle that off and go down here and just go to clean brush either way. So now I got clean brush and if I click and drag over here nothing happens, right? I've got to actually click on top of somewhere and now it's picking up some more hue from the canvas. So that's the difference between this and say the brush tool. Uh, I can't just pick up colors off the canvas like I can with the mixer brush tool. So if you go ahead and go to load brush, what that means is you're dipping the brush back into the color. All right, so let's just say, let's change it to that color. Click and drag, now it's just this basic color. Uh, we had clean the brush after each stroke. Let me click that, now it's selected. If I set it to some kind of color though, let's say, and then go to load brush. Now if I click and drag, once I click and drag in here, 
now there's nothing, right? It's cleaning it, all right, after I click and let go. Uh, the first one where it says reload the brush, all right, so that'll act a little bit differently, I'll show you. So if I click and drag here, it's pretty bright. If I click and drag over here, it is interacting with it. And then if I click and drag over here, it still has it. It is not cleaning it after each one, but it is loading it. So it's pulling it back toward that original. It's almost like I'm dipping it back into that this color, right? But it's still got some of that old paint on it from here, right? So that's what happens when we have load brush after each stroke, but we don't have clean the brush after each stroke. So I could go to clean brush, uncheck this, and so we're not loading it up. So I'm just having a wet brush here that has no color on it. So if I click and drag here, nothing happens. But if I click and drag here, it can spread it around a little bit. And now I've got that on the brush. And I can mix it with this. So you can come up with new hues, and it really resembles a, just a traditional brush, just like you're painting in real life. So have fun, be creative with that. That is the Mixer Brush Tool. Thanks. Thank you.